Good afternoon and welcome to ISTV English News. I'm Trubla Kangavo. In today's top stories, we have Union Minister of State Food Processing Swadvi Niranjan Joyti arrives at Imphal to oversee progress of food park being developed at Nilukuti. And now the news in detail. Union Minister of State Food Processing Swadvi Niranjan Joyti has arrived at Imphal today to oversee the progress of the food park being developed at Nilkuti. As soon as she landed at the Imphal airport, when ISTB News caught up with her, she announced that those women laborers being engaged at the food park would be provided loans ranging from only 5,000 rupees to 50,000 rupees or from 5 lakh to 10 lakh rupees. Necessary action will be taken for this, she said. In an exclusive interview, the Union Minister of State told the ISTB News that Manipur State is not only ideal for establishing a huge food park, but also has potential to provide employment to a large number of men and women. That is why Prime Minister Narendra Modi has launched a new scheme to provide employment to men and women under the Make in India vision through the Micro-Unit Development Refinance Agency, MUDRA Bank. The minister further said that a lot more schemes would be taken up under the leadership of Prime Minister to open more opportunities for the women to earn income. मैं मैं ये कह सकती हूँ कि मेगा फूड पार्क जहाँ भी हैं या छोटे मेगा फूड पार्क मैं अभी परसों गुजरात में थी एक मेगा फूड पार्क में कम से कम दो हजार डेढ़ हजार महिलाएं काम करती हैं हमारी सरकार का विजन है कि व्यक्ति को काम वहीं मिले रोजगार उसको वहीं सृजित हो और मेगे आपने ही खुद बताया कि आपके मेगा फूड पार्क में इतना रोजगार दिया जा रहा है तो मैं समझती हूँ कि मेगा फूड पार्क के लिए मणिपुर में बहुत बड़ी संभावना है मैं जो पाँच हजार से लेकर के पचास हजार तक का लोन लेने का है या पाँच लाख से दस लाख तक का लोन लेने का उसमें महिलाएं भी लेकर के पापड़ चिप्स अचार जो भी बनाना जिसके लिए जिस उद्देश्य के लिए छोटा उद्योग जिसमें डालना चाहे वो ले सकते हैं आज हम उसके लिए हम यही आए हुए हैं माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी तो पहले बोल चुके हैं लेकिन आज मणिपुर में शुरुआत उसकी कर Director of RIMS, Professor S. Rita, inaugurated 25-bedded antenatal new block high-risk pregnancy ward and postnatal new block also having 25 beds today. Superintendent of RIMS, Professor Amuba, other officials and doctors participated in the inaugural function. Superintendent Professor Amuba said, The inconvenience faced by pregnant women in not getting bed while admitted for de delivery will be reduced to a certain extent. A new casualty ward with 50 beds will also be opened soon, he said. <laughs> Tongtham Rohit Elias Ronald, a resident of Kaisampat Mutumlaikai, who was arrested on the charge of rape of a differently able girl, was produced before Imphal West Chief Judicial Magistrate Simon today. A large number of women who gathered in the court complex tried to attack him. Police tried to stop the protesting crowd from assaulting the accused. A confrontation ensued between the protesters and the police. However, the incident was brought under the control in no time. The family of the rape victim said that befitting punishment should be given to the accused. The first boxing ring organized by Chess Boxing Association of Manipur has begun at Kumalampak Boxing Ring. In today's match, SSC T. Girish and CH Kagemba SSC Team B defeated their opponent respectively. <laughs> I 
I'm ready. Tell her row. Hey, it's a car late. Hey, some say who's it? Pretty perfectly straight. Ado kangkar kanda di freezy. Relax. Perfectly straight. Aina say me ano bosan sir perfectly straight with straight lock technology maramdi. Some kangkar ba matung dasu align straight oina line bagi dama. Wow, who's it? So straight oina. Straight and gorgeous. Sunsilk perfect straight lock to view rock to view. And moving on to some national international news. An 18-year-old rape survivor was shot dead today, two days before she was to appear as witness, allegedly by bike-borne youths in Bijapur village in the Sintola area. The girl's family has alleged that she was killed on the orders of the accused, the police said. The locals and the family held a protest blocking the Valia Highway and stopping traffic movement. The girl and her brother were going to visit a doctor when the attack took place. She died on the spot. The girl was allegedly raped on June 6, 2011 by BK Singh, the manager of a local college where she was a student, the police said. One of the influential men in the area, he had been putting pressures on the girl's family, demanding that they withdraw the case, which is being heard by a local court. The family members alleged that BK Singh had even got the police to frame the girl's brother in a murder case. The man killed was the peon of the college and the family claims that BK Singh was involved in the murder. The family also alleged that the manager had earlier repeatedly raped the girl's elder sister. She committed suicide after she became pregnant. Police in Madhya Pradesh have found 69 detonators from a go-down in searches after the deadly explosion that killed over 90 people at a restaurant in Madhya Pradesh on Saturday. The go-down belongs to the brother of the main accused, Rajendra Kasawa, who is missing. Rajendra Kasawa had allegedly stocked explosives, nearly 100 gelatin sticks, for his mining business at a shop next to a restaurant, which triggered a series of blasts in Pelawant town in Jabua district. Kasawa reportedly had the license to use the explosives, but had stored them at his shop illegally. After the explosion, he and his family allegedly rained away. Police recovered the new stockpile of detonators from the godown of Rajendra Kasawa's brother Narendra on Sunday evening. The state government has announced a reward of 1 lakh rupees on any information leading to Rajendra Kasawa's arrest. On Sunday, Chief Minister Sivra Singh Chauhan faced angry protesters who blocked his convoy when he was on his way to the blast site. Chauhan was able to proceed to the site only after he assured locals of strong action against accused. The guilty will not be spared, the chief minister said. He also increased the compensation of 5 lakh rupees from the rupees 2 lakh that he had earlier announced for the families of those killed. In the middle of a row over BJP rule states imposing a meat ban for a Jain fasting festival, a government order in Rajasthan has stirred more controversy. Days after announcing a meat ban, Rajasthan has ordered schools and colleges to prepare for blood donation camps on September 25 to mark the birth anniversary of Deen Dayal Upadhyaya, an icon of the BJP and its ideological mentor Rashtriya Swam Sevak Sangha. The day coincides with the Muslim festival of Bakar Eid, which is a holiday but will not be this time. The Basundara Raji government's order instructs colleges not to declare a holiday on the day. The order has upset Muslims groups who say they will go to the court against the move to cancel the holiday. This is unconstitutional and a very fascist order, said Professor Salim Engineer of the Forum for Democracy and Communal Harmony. He alleged that the government's move was a clear attempt at saffronization, the term used by critics to describe pro-Hindu moves. The government has reacted to the black lash by saying Muslim teachers will be allowed to take leave on that day if they wish. And before we wind up the top stories once again. Union Minister of State Food Processing Sadhvi Nirantan Joyti arrives at Imphal to oversee progress of food park being developed at Nilkuti. Thank you so much for joining us.